Hello, uh, this is Ozzy, uh, productivity coach here for uh, Keller Williams and La Quinta. So um, uh, Norma sent out an email to all of us uh, concerning the uh, our free Keller Williams DocuSign account and linking it to our car zip form account. So yes, we are able to to, um, to link both. Uh, so for those of you who have already set up your uh, Keller Williams account uh, for um, DocuSign, your free account, uh, what I'm going to walk you quickly here through is uh, on how to do that, right? So just for clarification, uh, if you haven't done this yet, if you are on KW Command, this is the, the uh, essentially the home page for uh, uh, KW uh, Command. Uh, when you go in here on to where your name is, the drop down, uh, you want to select settings and you just want to make sure, let's confirm that you have already linked your DocuSign account, right? So if you were in uh, the Tech Tuesday uh, class or with Satoshi, uh, he probably walked you through on how to do this, right? So uh, on here, you should see your uh, email that you set up the DocuSign. You should see how, uh, or you should be showing here connected current status connected so if you have this already set up uh this is what we're talking about so we're going to show you how to link uh the uh, zip form account right so quickly uh as we know our new kw um signature account comes with uh the signature feature and with uh what we call uh docusign rooms right so if you needed to log in, in here is uh, realestate.docusign.com. This is where the rooms are at. Uh, you just want to think of this as our old dot loop where we were able to uh, 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 rooms or the loops, right? So in dot loop, we had rooms. This is rooms here. Uh, but this is where you're able to store documents. You're able to go, come in here and uh, uh, manage your file. Uh, you could uh, split PDFs. You could add PD or uh combine PDF. So this is where the magic happens. Also, if you see here envelopes, we're also able to get uh, electronic signatures straight from here, right? So let me just show you real quick a zip form integration. So uh, once you, you should have a DocuSign email address that you use and a password. And what you want to do is you want to link your um, zip forms. So California Association zip forms here. Uh, you want to be able to um, to come in here into a transaction, for example, and you are able to let's just select. So you're able to go into a, a file you created, right? So you're about to uh, uh, write up an offer or write up a listing, right? So you uh, come in here. You have the files you're going to need, um, and now. Uh, you uh, came in there, you uh, put in all the information for the offer, for the listing, and you want to be able to just quickly send it out for signatures. So uh, a great way to do that is uh, by going on to uh, uh, go to transactions here, please. And if you see uh, this little blue uh, button here that says more actions, click on this and the option that says send to other systems. This is the option that allows you to send documents uh, from zip forms straight into one of those rooms. So uh, key thing is um, linking that account, right? So you click on here, you're gonna click on send to DocuSign transaction rooms. When you click on that, if you haven't set it up yet, it's gonna ask you for a login. So real quick here, I clicked on it. Uh, so for yourself, if you haven't set it up yet, it's going to ask you to log in. So you just log in, log in into DocuSign, and then you link uh, the file. So the transaction, whatever transaction you want to link, you're going to link it into one of the rooms that you have in there. So quickly, quickly, DocuSign rooms. So on here, if you notice. I have rooms already set up, right? So I already have files in here, loops per se. So I already have loops. You do have to have a, 
a, a file or a loop in here. The best way to create a room or a file or a room, that's what they call it, is by doing it straight from KW command. So how do you do this? Well, if you came to my compliance class, you know that you need to always enter every, every one of your clients into a contact. Once you've entered them into contacts, you go into opportunities. Once you are in opportunities, you need to create the opportunity. So you create the opportunity, you click on here and you are going to select either a listing or a buyer. Uh, your client should be on the, uh, on the contacts already. So when you click on here, you type in your client's name, uh, and then you go down and you create the opportunity. Once the opportunity is created, uh, when you go in here, um, you are going to see that opportunity you created, right? So for uh, this purposes, I'm just going to show you this is, uh, I just have a, a, a listing appointment I showed up to. I created this opportunity here. This is my client. I'm going to send something for him to sign. So right now, this is the opportunity that you just, you just created, right? So you have an opportunity in here uh, under documents, which is compliance now. Uh, if you click on here, it should say I'll open a transaction or I'll open a new transaction, something in that regard that shows on here. When you click on this, that takes you to rooms and it creates one of these rooms. So once you have one of these rooms, which I did click on it and it created this room on here, Gonzalez. Let's go in it real quick. So I created this room and now I just want to send a document from zip forms so I can get it signed, right? So as I said, we have this signing feature on here. So I'm just going to send them a listing, uh, a listing, um, agreement so you could sign it, right? So let's go into zip forms and this is the transaction I created on zip forms. I created a, uh, a listing agreement. So, uh, let's just make sure I have all the documents I need in here. Cause I did. Okay. So these are the documents I need. So, uh, on the transaction itself, like I said earlier, what you want to do to send it over to the room is you click on this little blue dot for more options. You click on send to a DocuSign transaction room. And I have, there it is. This is the room I want to send it to. So I click on this and I'm going to let it know, let it be known that I'm going to link that transaction and zip forms to this room. So I'm going to link it. Once I have it link, I could just transfer over the documents I want to send over. Right? So if you're on your, on your transaction and you see these, uh, blue files that say, uh, Z, uh, Z F X, those are, uh, uh just a, a blank file. If you have any PDFs, very likely they might have been uh, documents that you previously had signed already through ZipLogix or through DocuSign, whatever you were using before. But anyways, right now this is a clear slate. So I'm about to send these three documents to get signed. So I'm going to add them to the document room. Successfully added these three forms to the room. It says, go to the DocuSign room. Well, I, I already have it open so I'm just gonna go right over but you could click on that so obviously it needs to update let me just go back here and let's go into the documents and there they are so now let's just say I want him to sign them simple enough right okay let me select all these files I just want him to sign these I'm gonna click DocuSign as I want him to sign them and what happens is it's gonna send out for signatures uh, then it's gonna come back and it's gonna now be in that room so it's gonna be there for me to be able to pull into command. So please sign DocuSign. I'm gonna have that there. I'm gonna add the recipient. Um, Pre-tag roles should populate uh, who I want in here. So I have one seller only, and then I am gonna sign myself. So um, listing agent. So I am the listing agent. So those are the two signatures. Um, uh, well, no, we don't have him populated quite there yet. So I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and seller agent to define. Perfect. 
Um, no, not seller agent. What am I talking about? Hold on. Um, listing agent. I'm on here already. Great. Add selected. So for now, I, I, I didn't have him in there yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and add him in here from the uh, email address. So uh, give me one second while I add my client in here. Okay, so I went ahead and added my uh, my client, the person who I want to sign, and uh, he needs to sign. Let's we can move order here, and we could select the order. So I want him to sign first, and then me. So he is the uh, he needs to sign. He's already it's already on there that way. Um, that's it. I mean, I just need to go in here and send them the file, please. Please review and sign listing agreement. Call me if you if you have any questions. Perfect. So simple enough. Uh, so he knows this is coming. I'm gonna send it over to him uh, and. Uh, Go from there, right? So we have the three documents in here. We have the people who we're sending it to, a quick message. And now once I hit next, we're gonna be able to uh, assign the signatures. Typically, since they're zip form account, uh, I'm sorry, zip form forms, uh, the system uh, should automatically tag the signatures where they belong. So let's just wait and see. All right, so um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Oh no, they didn't tag him for whatever reason. You know what? That's probably because I didn't, I didn't have him in there as a, as the uh, as the uh, seller. I should have added him as a seller. But anyways, let's just finish this off. Um, once you once you've added the uh, the signatures and uh, or initials where they belong, you just hit send. Simple enough. What's going to happen is uh, once you uh, once the file comes back, it's gonna come back to your room. And when you're doing compliance, you're able to add documents straight from DocuSign. So that's really the goal of this. Anyways, uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions, 760-449-8015. I'll, I'll work to answer any questions you may have. Thank you.